Okay, the next step in the search for the ultimate pulse motor, which is just a little thread we have going on our forum. Uh, we've seen the rotor on the bearing, we've got it spinning nice and freely. We now have to make up a coil. Now the magnets in that rotor are three quarters of an inch in diameter by an inch long. So the coil I'm going to be making for this is two and a half inches long with a one inch core. Now the way I wind my coils I use layered coils not by filler coils and I put the trigger winding on first which will be just four runs up and back on the core itself. For this one I'll be using 0.55 wire um, that's millimetres of course and then for the run coil that will be on the top I'll be using 0.71 mil wire. So just a little bit on my coil winding jig itself it is a very simple setup. I have a piece of pipe just with the leg welded off it so I can clamp it in the vise and inside that pipe I've just um, inserted an old water pump bearing from a car and on one side of that bearing I have a handle on the other side I just weld a bit of thread bar on there so as I can fit any size coil core I wish to make in there uh, right down to a half inch centre so it is fairly quick to use once you get the hang of it um, as you can see here it's just a matter of and of course the wire goes up to the spool feeder which is just a bolt on a heavy bit of iron that the uh, spool is sitting over but it's just a matter of holding the wire cranking the handle and feeding it on as you go and as you can see you get a very neat finish and it is fairly quick both windings will only take me about 10 minutes to wind so those of you that want to make a simple coil winder it doesn't really get much simpler than that and it is fairly quick you could also put a little cam on here with a little counter mounted off it from a push bike or something like that just to read out how many turns you have I have found that turns on the coil aren't really that important as long as you've got somewhere between three and six ohms for a 12 volt battery seems to give the best results in this case four layers is all I will need for the trigger coil and about seven to eight for the run coil so I'll go ahead wind that coil and we'll come back to it <laughs> 